Polaroid Spirit 600 is an instant camera that was made in 1981 and I have in my hands one that has never been used before. So we're going to be putting this camera through its paces and seeing if it still has what it takes. Without further ado, welcome to Killer Entertainment and this is Into the Lens. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't want my shadow in it, but uh, I might shoot this way. Bloody hot. <sighs> All right, on to the next one. All right, just finished shooting some photos of the uh, trees over there. Um, so far, so good. Honestly, I love the feeling of this camera. It's fun to shoot on. Uh, the, the shutter button, as soon as you press it, you feel everything that's going on <laughs> inside this camera. To me, that's a great thing. I love that kind of feeling. Um, when I first started to open and close it, it honestly felt like I was gonna break the camera. But after a while, I think I just, I think it just took time to get used to. And now it's like, it's nothing. It feels, it feels great to open and close. Um, another thing, I have this little, uh, little backpack on me. And I think I suggest everyone that wants to shoot Polaroids, get something like a small backpack or anything to put their Polaroids in to let it develop. The great thing about this one is that uh, it's cool inside and obviously it's away from the sunlight and that's what you want when you're developing or waiting for your, your Polaroid film to develop. Um, I'm pretty sure temperature can affect the, the Polaroids. So keeping in something cool like this uh, and also obviously away from the light, I, I don't know, I'm trying to get the best possible outcome. Hopefully they turn out good. I have a few more places around here that I want to take photos of. Um, so yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep going. I want to get like a kind of close up shot of uh, the statue's face. I think I'm going to pick this one because the highlights are coming off on this side. This one's kind of in the shadows, so I think. This will look nice.
we're about halfway done with this pack now and first impressions using this camera it is super fun to use it is really fun uh, I really wasn't expecting to really enjoy something like this. You have no manual control. It's literally only a shutter button, this little exposure dial at the front, and that's it. Uh, with this exposure dial, I've been putting it halfway down because it's a really bright sunny day. There's not a cloud in sight, it's just blue skies. So I've been putting it halfway down. Um, there's no exposure meter or anything. You have no idea if you're gonna overexpose or underexpose. You don't know if your photo is gonna turn out shit or not. But to be honest, that's what makes it fun. You have no idea what the results are gonna turn out to be. And yeah, I, I love that. The viewfinder is really great as well. It's super bright. Um, the only thing is that it's on the left side and the, the camera is in the middle. So you kind of have to get used to compensating for that. But I mean, it's not, it's not actually too bad. Uh, you know, I've shot right in the middle, like subjects right in the middle and it's turned out fine. Right now we're at this court. Uh, we're gonna take some more photos. We're gonna finish this pack off and you're gonna get my final thoughts on it. So yeah, <laughs> let's keep taking photos. Let's go. Maybe I can see the shadow as well, I reckon. That would be awesome. Okay. So I'm underexposing all these photos because it's just so bright. Awesome. I think that one's going to turn out really well. They're good. They are really good. Honestly, coming into this episode, I had very low expectations for this camera. I didn't think it was gonna perform well. I didn't think these photos were gonna turn out any good, but it has definitely surprised me. Yeah, man, the photos turned out really good. Let's talk about my favorite photos. Um, definitely the one of the basketball this photo turned out perfect like really just perfect like the color of the court the lines the the shadow of the basketball and it is perfectly exposed as well definitely my favorite polaroid I, it's just yeah it turned out great another one that surprised me was the basketball hoop this one, I thought that the sky was gonna get blown out. I thought it was just gonna be a white sky. I mean, the whole thing is actually, again, perfectly exposed. It's really sharp as well. It's just a great, like, it's a great Polaroid again. Um, one that, so I love this one, the one of the statue. There's one thing with it though, is that the background is in focus but the statue itself is a little bit out of focus and I'm pretty sure this is user error because I think you have to be a certain distance to have the whole photo in focus. But still, I think it's still a great photo. I love how the highlights and the shadows shape the statue's face. Yeah, great. Uh, the one of the tree, awesome. This is just gonna be me talking about how, how much I love these photos. <laughs> I didn't get any of those blue light streaks that you usually get um, in these Polaroids. I did get a little bit of streaks in the bottom part of the, the tree photo. I kind of wish I did get them more because I think it adds more character to these kind of Polaroids. Yeah, man, I mean, the colors, the sharpness, the sharpness surprised me because this is a plastic lens on it. I'm definitely still going to be using this Polaroid camera, which I did not expect just because of how expensive Polaroid film is, but I'm still going to be using it. Is it worth it? 
Probably not. It's a different experience. It's, it's definitely a different experience. And I, I think any photographer should experience using an old school Polaroid like this. I think that's it. You know, the photos were great. The camera was great. It was a great day. <laughs> so with that being said, like the video if you did indeed like it. Subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. I am fucking tired. I'm gonna take a nap.